This is my right hand. This is the phrase that I'm going to push you out there to check out. George, the fragrance apprentice, has been hyping. He's been hyping a fragrance called Robert Graham's Fortitude. He thinks everybody should be talking about it, but nobody's talking about it apart from him. He's really pushing this fragrance hard. He thinks it would be an amazing autumn fall fragrance, a great masculine scent. It's got tobacco, it's got sweetness. It could be a new signature scent. He even mentioned me by name. Chris, for you, Chris, Chris, Chris. For you, Chris, I think that you're going to absolutely adore it, and this would be my formal recommendation for you. You better have this by the next time that I see you. Well, let's find out if the hype is real, because George made me buy it. I got influenced. George just said all the right things in the right order and I just got influenced. I, I couldn't use my own brain. I decided to buy this fragrance blindly. Never smelt this before, not opened this box yet. So I thought in this video, I'd open the box, I'd spray it and I'd just give you my first impressions and just see if it's worthy of all this hype that no one's talking about. Anyway, let's get into it. So, from what I know, from what George said, this is a fragrance that has tobacco, some sweetness, some patchouli. So, I'm expecting it to be a little chocolatey, a little resinous, sweet, that type of thing. We will have a spray, and I think what I'll do, I'll turn this into something a little more in-depth than the first impressions, and maybe I'll come back after a week and I'll let you know how this fragrance has been performing for me. Because I think it develops, from what I've heard, I think this fragrance develops a little bit. So just off a first spray, I perhaps can't give my full opinion on whether the hype is real. I mean, the bottle hype is real. That's a nice bottle. So yeah, only listed notes, tonka bean, patchouli and tobacco. There's gotta be more than that in here, but that's, that's a lovely bottle. Okay, let's have a spray and see if this might be my next signature scent. My new signature scent, what do we think? Mm. I like it. George, you might have been right on this one. So this, it's not as uh, complex as I thought. It, it's quite mass appealing, actually. I thought it was going to be a little more challenging, maybe from what you said. Yeah, it's sweet. 100% tonka bean. Definitely getting that syrupy pancake type of deal. Yeah, that smells good. I, I don't know how much it's projecting, though. I, I feel like it's not created a big scent bubble. I mean, I've only sprayed it on one small patch of my skin. So I'll have to give this some full wearings and spray it in a few more places, maybe get it on some clothes as well. But so far, I think, I think I like it. It's very good. It's easy going, it's mass appealing. I think it's like a tobacco leaf or maybe a blonde tobacco. Either way, I don't get this like really rich, dark, cherry tobacco. I don't get that type of tobacco with it. I kind of like it. I'm not sure about the hype at the moment. I'm not sure if everybody should be talking about it, if I'm honest, but I will not give my full opinion until I've given this some good wearing. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to come back in a week or so and update you on whether I think this is worth the hype. And here I am, a week into the future. How did Chris from a week in the past look like? Have I aged a bit, probably? Hair's grown a bit? Okay, so I've been wearing Fortitude for a week or so, every day, and I have to say I've really been enjoying it, but I do have some reservations. Let's start with the scent. So pretty much what I said in my first impressions, I was expecting this to be bolder, more robust, more complex, partly because of how George described it. He said it was a great autumn fragrance and I often think of autumn fragrances as being a little more structured, a little more complex, but also because of the name, Fortitude. Fortitude to me means 
courage and bravery. Strong words that I have strong associations with. And even the brand described this fragrance as evoking a daring sense of self and true grit. From hearing descriptions like that, I was anticipating something darker, something richer, something a bit more statement making. But for me, it isn't that. It's a very lovely, sweet, fairly simplistic tonka bean fragrance. It did remind me of something else, but I just couldn't quite put my finger on it. I went through my whole collection and tried to work out what it was. The closest thing I could come to was Dolce & Gabbana's The One, but it's not quite the same as that. The One has more of an orangey, fruity vibe to it, whereas this doesn't have that. What this does have, in addition to these honey-like accords, is just this hint of an animalic undertone, just the tiniest flicker, which is actually really done well, really elegantly done because it doesn't overdo that aspect of the fragrance. And it does bring a nice little bit of structure and character to the overall profile. My main issue I have with this fragrance is the performance. Unfortunately for me, it came off as quite weak. I maybe got a nice half an hour of projection of a few wafts, but after that, it just seemed to fade really quickly. I did spray it on my clothes. I, I sprayed a lot on my clothes to try to really create a scent bubble around me and it just wasn't happening. It might just be me. George didn't mention that he had a problem with performance. I'm sure if he did, he wouldn't have recommended it. And I went onto Fragrantica. Nobody else that I could see in the comments there seemed to have a problem with the performance. So it could just be me. It could just be that I become slightly anosmic to this kind of fragrance, I don't know. So I'm not saying that it's a really awful performing fragrance, but for me, it just didn't work that well. Once I'd recalibrated my preconceptions about this fragrance, when I am smelling it, I'm really enjoying it. And I thought back to what George said, and he was touting this as a signature scent. Now to me, a signature scent means a fragrance that is a bit of a dumb reach, maybe something that's really easy to wear, something that's not too strong, something that's not challenging, something that is not gonna be too obtrusive if you're in a situation where you're around other people. And fortitude is all those things, so I do agree that it could be a really good signature scent for people in the autumn or in the winter, but just not for me. When I have found myself really enjoying this is just at home, around the house. I find it a very comforting and calming fragrance. I'll maybe put it on when I've just got out of the shower, I'm relaxing in front of the TV with a bourbon, the beverage, not the biscuit, and I'll find myself reapplying every couple of hours, but that's fine when you're not leaving the house, you're just reapplying a scent that you're enjoying wearing at home. I do quickly want to mention the presentation because I think it is absolutely stunning. I love the shape of the bottle. It's unique, it's different. I love the name on the front. Robert Graham here is on a material that is stuck into uh, an indentation on the bottle. Really nicely done, really classy. Love this cap. I did want to get the one with massive horns on, but you had to buy the bigger bottle size for that. But I think this cog design is pretty cool. And then on the top, we have the Ram Skull with the words knowledge, wisdom, truth. So overall, really dig the presentation. Unique and classy. I paid £100 for this, which I think is a fair price for such a well-blended fragrance. Overall, I like it a lot. As I said, it's a fragrance that I really enjoy wearing at home, but it isn't something I would particularly choose to put on when I'm leaving the house. Personally, I like something stronger, but as I said, no one else has mentioned having a problem with the performance of this, so it might just be me. So, I got influenced. I made a blind buy, it wasn't what I was expecting, but that's fine, because fragrance is subjective. It was my choice to spend that money. George didn't make me do it. I used my own brain, and I will never bring it back to somebody else if they've recommended me a fragrance and it doesn't work in the same way for me as it does for them. Because at the end of the day, they're only recommending it because they enjoy it. If I felt I'd wasted my money, that's on me, not on them. So not quite what I was expecting, but I really enjoy it and I'm very glad to own it. So there you go. I thought I would just share my experience of getting influenced. Please share your own experience of getting influenced to blind buy. And if it didn't work for you, did you then go and blame the person who'd recommended it to you? That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning in to FM, keep smelling good. And now I'm off to invoice George for a refund. I'll see you in the next one.